Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Saturday, Saturn Day, August 24th, and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number four vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. When it comes to today's energy, we have the otter. So the otter comes out as the spirit animal for today. And with the otter energy coming out as a spirit animal, the otter is bringing me to the water element. And when I think of water element, I think of emotional security. I think of emotional stability. I also think of how unique the otter energy is. And with the otter energy, I always go back to stories that I hear about the otters and how they do their hunting and even like you know, yeah, how they do their hunting in the sense that I hear stories of how, um, say, the male otters will kidnap the baby otters so that, you know, and hold them for ransom so that, um, you know, the mother otters will go out and, 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 and get food and come back. But then I think of like, you know, in nature that's their way of doing but i think of how us observing it and based on our views and our experiences how we'll see it in a certain way when they're operating within their nature and some way somehow like it works and things are getting done and it's interesting because when i got to today's energy this is my second time doing Saturday over and it's my second time doing it over because of the distractions and when I first shuffled the cards the otter came out so instead of starting over I just paused and waited um, so yeah when I first started on Saturday's energy um, the otter energy came out and all of the distractions and everything so i'm like let me just start over put the card back in the deck and you saw me you know shuffle it around a little and the otter pop back out so definitely there's something about the otter energy that stands out i feel like i've stopped so much with this one video to the point where i felt like starting over again but i'm not so with the otter energy coming out for today and the energies in the day adding up and reducing to the number four vibration, it brings me to security and stability. And when I think of security and stability energy and just the otter energy compared, when I think of otter energy, I think of strength. I think of emotional strength. Also, too, when I think of otter energy, I think of misunderstand or mis, you know, being misunderstood. And I say misunderstood in the sense that as humans, how we will perceive how these animals operate in nature, you know, is just it could it's just so different from how we operate to the point that it's so easy to point finger and tell stories about you know whether it's wrong or right not saying that anyone thinks that but when i hear the stories of you know otters and how they operate in nature amongst each other it could seem cruel or harsh but that's me putting meaning and that it brings me to the thought of uh, I was reading a page out of the Tao Te Ching earlier and in this section it was talking about you know and I, I've seen the same thing in the Kabbalion where it's like some the whole opposition thing where something needs to be tall in order for something to be short something needs to be beautiful in order for something to be ugly and just you know the way how we see things 
and it brings me back to the outer energy and you know how we see things determine how we might perceive their behavior when that's just their nature so that brings me to the thought of today's energy and i also keep in mind all of the distractions and having to be patient in order to keep this video going opposed to starting all over again because i started over uh once the first time i pulled the otter energy and then i started over again and the otter came right back out so it was meant to be here. So when it comes to today's energy, I think of some people going through situations that could cause them to easily throw everything out and start from scratch. But it's best to just take breaks in between the take breaks in between whatever it is that you're doing opposed to starting from scratch because i look at how the moon is in taurus today and the moon is in a place of comfort stability security familiarity and the moon in taurus is positively aspecting the sun in virgo so with the moon and the sun speaking to each other in a way we call a trine they relate they know each other both earth element both energy that deals with familiarity both energies that deals with tangible things one is fixed and one is mutable so one is stubborn one is flexible they just work so our inner world is in a place where you know our inner conversation and who we identify as um those things are going well together because those things are pretty practical and they just make sense but Mercury is our mind. When I think of Mercury mind, so Mercury is our mind, the inner world, the moon, the moon and Mercury are both communicating energies, but communicate on a different level where I feel like the moon energy is our inner world, inner world, inner conversation where Mercury to me would remind me of the internet or the matrix. It's like us being all hooked up or plugged in to this common mind where it's like random thoughts come in and out as like it's like when i think of mercury energy i think of like a satellite energy satellite type energy where we're all being broadcasted the same kind of information um same kind yeah same kind of information coming in and you know going in and out where the moon the inner world when i think of the moon the inner world i think of like it's like communication on a heart level um communication uh when it comes to our intuition premonition um it's like communication coming from the divine so when i think of the moon it's like communication coming from the divine source that we're all connected to call god whatever you want to call it so when i think of the moon as connection to the divine source and information flowing from that that's why whenever we have the dark a dark night of the soul moment to me it's where the that mind the moon you know communication coming from source is clashing with our matrix mind mercury because the matrix mind mercury to, it deals with familiar way of thinking and being where mercury energy is more of a regurgitating of everything that we've ever seen and experienced and common information that we all share that's flowing in and out of all of us you know like satellite services like wi-fi where with the moon the moon is create is connected to source is divine source it's like it's connected to god creator whatever universe you know i think of like say that the the movie the avatar and when they plug up to the trees or whatever i think of that as the moon energy where they're plugged up and connected to source so with um the moon energy you know our inner world is in a place where it's reflecting on stability security and comfort and being challenged by pluto um in aquarius where you know moon and taurus taurus energy you know familiar comforting energy not wanting to be bothered with the transformation and changes and what's going on in the world with others with the moon and taurus energy it could feel a little bit self-absorbed or you know kind of selfish as i'm in a comfortable space and i don't want to deal with outside things when I think of the day though, adding up and reducing to the number four vibration, Uranian energy is connected to the number four vibration, but today is ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is a part of a T-square and Saturn still, you know, squaring Mars conjunct 
Jupiter in Gemini and Venus in Virgo. So when I think of the T-square happening to Saturn energy, it brings me to, like I think of like layers being peeled off of an onion per se. And the more layers come off, the deeper we get to the truth of a thing. So with the Saturn energy is bringing us to, you know, peeling off the outside layers of our conditioning, guiding us to the truth of who we are. So when I think of today's energy and how it felt a bit chaotic to me, and the chaos just felt like outside distractions forcing me to start over. But instead, I paused and use the moment to just breathe, to just meditate, to just get some rest and sit here and just relax. So when it comes to today's energy, it brings me to that where some things might come up where it feels like others are projecting their opinions. And from the projection of other people's opinions, you might question the path that you're on and even question if you should start something over or start a new or start a new path. But just keep in mind that a lot of the times when it comes to the people that love us and care about us, they want to see us, to, they want us to be able to take care of ourselves. And if we're presenting something to them that's unfamiliar to them, they can't give you their blessings to do something that they don't understand. So this is why it's important for us to learn to validate ourselves because whoever validates you owns you. A lot of the times we get disappointed because we go looking for permission. We look for other people to tell us that a path is a good idea for us or, or, or a good fit for us. And if they have no experience in that, meaning they've never seen anyone successful doing that, they might discourage you and they're not discouraging you because they don't want the best for you. They might be discouraging you because their vision of you just doesn't fit with what you're presenting to them. So when it comes to today's energy, it just brings me to it being okay to be under, misunderstood. It's okay to be misunderstood. What's more important that you understand you. And Nowadays, when I surf through comments, random comments on different videos, and I'll see somebody debating someone, trying to debate or argue with someone about their choices or perspective, and I'll laugh and shake my head because I remember when I was there. I was never in anybody's comments, though, trying to debate or argue about their choices, but in my real life, I was doing that where like say something comes up around religious and spirituality and I'll feel the need to defend myself. And in the moment I didn't realize I was defending myself, I felt like I was just being real and letting them know, you know, but really I was defending myself because I wasn't okay with my truth and my interests. where now I'm at a point where, you know, someone might share something with me like say a family member shares something with me and whatever they're sharing with me is to let me know that what they believe what I'm doing is wrong, whether they're coming from a place of being nefarious or genuinely care because I'm content and confident with myself and my interests. I don't feel the need to correct them or defend myself because they've already come to a conclusion within themselves about their beliefs, why they take it upon themselves to try to save my soul or save me from what they feel that I might be on the wrong path with. So I just reflect a lot of the times on my growth and how in the past, like when I didn't couldn't give me permission, I needed others to. And when they didn't, I would we would go back and forth where it's like you start off asking someone a question and next thing you guys are in a debate and it's like, why are we debating when you ask me a question? Why are you defending yourself against my answer? And if you find that, you know, you, you ask someone a question or you ran something by them and then things got heated or maybe you found yourself feeling like, I don't want to talk to them no more. I'm not going to tell them anything anymore. Or they made me feel this way or the next is because you're asking for permission and they couldn't give it. And not all the time it's because someone's being a hater. I feel like a lot of the times it's because they don't understand or maybe half of the time they don't understand 
and they can't give you direction to a place they've never been. So I love the star energy coming out with the otter energy and I love the emotion or water emphasis on both of these. With the her, with the star card, it brings me to the thought of the tower because it comes after the tower. And I think of the tower energy where these two people are falling out of this building that has been struck by lightning and they're both falling out of it but then in this card you see one person and this person is um you know they're they're exposed they're 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 vulnerable and i when i think of this card and it being the eighth card i think of starting a new cycle starting a new cycle starting fresh picking up the pieces but what i love about this coming out in the upright position i think of say with the tower energy some kind of devastating ending happen but when you come to this card the devastating ending has happened but this person is I, 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 when I think of the star card and after the tower and after the devastating ending, I think of, yes, this tragic thing has happened, but this person in the star card is vulnerable. They're honest with themselves about their experience, honest with themselves about their role in their experience. And from there, they're picking up the pieces and building anew. I think about when we don't reflect and see our role in a situation, we cannot learn. So we're stuck in a cycle where a thing keeps happening over and over and over again. We keep attracting the same people in different bodies, the same circumstances over and over again, because we haven't, we, we, we haven't seen our part in order to put a stop in whatever part we play so that outcome can stop. Where I think of what I was sharing earlier, where say normally, and this is something I had to see for myself, because I used to go to certain two family members and always run my ideas and story, my ideas by them. And in the beginning, they would get so excited only for me to come back next week with a new exciting story and idea and for them i could see now looking back it felt like they're stuck in this insanity cycle with me because i keep talking about these ideas but i'm not doing anything about them and after a while like i got a glimpse of how i looked in their eyes and i felt a little bit embarrassed but then for me my role in it was i'm not gonna stop dreaming because i'm a dreamer and i like dreaming but what I will stop doing is running to them with all these ideas and instead allow them to see the fruits of my labor. And that was me taking accountability in that situation and doing things different because there were, situ there were moments when I go in with an idea and then it ends, the conversation ends a little bit tight because I don't like what they said about my idea because really I wasn't seeking advice even though I thought I was, I was seeking permission. I was seeking validation. So when they didn't say what I wanted to hear, they weren't giving me permission. So it's like they're fighting me and I'm going to fight them when I'm the one who went first asking advice or sharing a thought, but then walk away felt like they were fighting me when they don't understand what I'm trying to do and create for myself They've never seen that before. They don't know of anyone that does that. And then based on how they see me, based on their experience of me, they don't know all sides of me to know all the things that I'm capable of. So, you know, with this energy, these two energies, this brings me to it's okay to be misunderstood. And what's more important is understanding yourself because when you understand yourself, then you don't go around looking for others to understand you that's it you don't look for that anymore because you understand yourself instead when it comes to others it's more of just enjoying the connection for what it is and not looking for them to see you i feel like we only look for people to see us when we can't see ourselves and with this energy here this person is vulnerable they're vulnerable, they're open, and they're seeing themselves and they're building from there. So when it comes to today's energy, big emphasis on security, stability, and time.
big emphasis on security, stability, and time. Also, too, when it comes to today's energy, it is very vital, important to avoid social media. If you don't feel like you're in the best place or space because certain videos that are meant to be motivating or inspiring could cause you feeling like the weakest link or scrolling and seeing certain things happening with certain family members, even though you're happy for them, can cause you to feel awful about where you are. And again, for me, it comes down to you know, us not giving ourselves permission because when we give ourselves permission to be, then we be and we do what's in alignment with our truth. And we're able to see other people do the same or even if they're not doing what's in alignment with their truth, it doesn't even matter because you're busy minding the business that pays you. And when I say the business that pays you, not necessarily paying you actual currency, but uh, as far as money, but mining the business that pays you as far as a different kind of currency, the kind of energy that allows you to feel fulfilled, feel satiated. For me, creating content and speaking about certain things like this is me minding the business that pays me, not necessarily like um, in monetary money, but pays me in the sense that in the process of me doing this, I'm expressing myself and I feel fulfilled where many times I end up answering questions and answering my own questions that may have crossed my mind at some point, but in the process of me sitting and speaking, different thoughts coming to my, come into my mind. And I'm like, oh, wow, that was the answer. So, you know, what makes you feel satiated? What makes you feel seen? And how are you not seeing yourself? And how could you do better at seeing yourself? I think of how... You know, for the longest, I used to feel like I need to find myself until it clicked to me that I don't need to find myself. I need to accept myself. So for some, you know, someone listening to this, you know, it's time you start working on accepting yourself and giving yourself permission to be you and no longer outsourcing that permission. And instead, you know, live your life and be you do you you guys it's such a pleasure sharing these messages with you hey guys i want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session the first one is understanding your internal programming the second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion the third is setting goals for success the fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement and the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses no one can use them against you and when you're aware of your strengths that makes you unstoppable and that is why i say self-awareness is a superpower the fifth benefit is removing obstacles we first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place the sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics we don't have to change the people in our lives we have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes and the seventh benefit is upcoming transits if that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology nail chart or awareness coaching session or learning more about about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions are both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.